Good afternoon and welcome to this afternoon's Eucharistic celebration and the third day of the Sacred Heart uh, Lenten Mission. Once again, we have Father David Rylander leading us and our opening hymn is in the White Book on page 56, 5, 6, Hear, O Lord, 5, 6 in the White Book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Welcome to our final day of our uh, recollection. We come before the Lord. And as I said, the Eucharist itself is forgiving of venial sin. How many times in the Eucharist do we ask the Lord uh, to forgive us? And we always begin the Eucharist with the penitential rite, which puts us in a mind that before God, we must come humbly. We do not ask forgiveness for particular sin, but sin in general. We are sinful people in need of the Lord. And so we say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The servant of the Lord said, The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. 
Morning by morning he awakens, wakens my ear to listen to those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord who helps me. Who will declare my guilty? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. It is your, for your sake, that I have borne reproach, that shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my kindred, an alien to my mother's children. It is zeal for your house that has consumed me. The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insults have broken my heart so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there were none, and for comforters I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your strength, love, answer me. I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Let the oppressed see it and be glad. You who seek God, let your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own that are in bonds. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone showed mercy for our sins. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray Jesus to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. 
on the first day of unleavened bread. The disciples came to Jesus saying, where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and say to him, the teacher says, my time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who had dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. Jesus replied, You have said so. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The book of the prophet Isaiah has been likened to the fifth gospel because of its content of the suffering servant. Saint Jerome, who translated uh, the scriptures uh, into the Vulgate, into the Latin, from New Testament Greek and uh, uh, Old Testament Hebrew uh, is the one who came out with this idea of the book of Isaiah. And I'm sure that it's a, a book that Jesus is very familiar with when one time he was in the synagogue and they asked him to read. He opened to the book of Isaiah. And I'm sure that he meditated on this prophet often to confirm his identity as uh, the Christ. And here we have uh, today, the Lord has opened my ear. The Lord has given me the tongue of a teacher. In other words, we need to unpack this. What is really being said is the eye, the ear, the mouth of the soul to appreciate truth. God speaks in metaphors. Open my mouth so that I can speak truth. Open my ear that I can hear truth. What is the truth that I hear? 
is that the Lord is with me. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint. In other words, I'm ready to do what I'm going to do and nothing is going to distract me from what I'm going to do. The emotional baggage is not going to displace my spiritual side. Now, how many of us can do that? We have the burden of life. Look at this terrorist over here, as Father <laughs> Jan says, how he's preoccupying his mother. The burden of life, the burden of life. Jesus was such that he, he was able to handle his emotional baggage. But because of the effect of sin, we're not so good at it. I gave my back to those who struck me my cheeks to those who pulled the beard. But to us, that would be shame. It would take a while for us to recover, and some of us don't recover from it. But this is what it is to carry the burden of another. And we pray the Lord in this Holy Week, preparing for his death and resurrection for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord, be with me. I am with you. Lord, how do I know that you are with me in the Eucharist? Here upon the altar that was first instituted at the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and took wine and offered the blessing. The blood of the covenant poured out for the forgiveness of sins. These are not mere words, a formula that the church came up with to fill out an hour of Mass, but rather the words of the Lord remembered by the apostles who were present at the Last Supper. So you see, the forgiveness of sin is effective, it is operational. We want to be relieved of the burdens that we carry spiritually. And so we ask the Lord to forgive us our sins. Repeatedly, over and over again in the Eucharist. And we ask the Lord, give me the strength that I may forgive to let go of the potato, to unburden my soul from the ball and chain connected to it that I've been carrying throughout my life, the cloud that has covered my head for so long. Yes, there can be spiritual freedom and with confidence, with confidence, in the gospel, we read that Judas is selling Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. But there was still forgiveness for Judas. But Jesus knew that Judas' heart had died 
It was no longer open to goodness. When our soul is open to goodness, we see hope, we see possibility. God is the God of potential, of possibility, of hope. The devil is death. No hope. No goodness, no life. The opposite of what God is. Death. Spiritual death. But we say no to Satan. God is a God of love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. The Lord speaks to me. The Lord gave his son for me. And so I turn to the Lord and I relieve my spiritual burden. And the Lord will give me peace. We now are about to enter into the Holy Triduum of Holy Thursday, celebrating the institution of the priesthood, the Eucharist. We are reminded of Jesus as servant, the priest washing the feet in imitation of Jesus. Good Friday, the reading of the Passion, praying for the world, the veneration of the cross. And of course, beginning with the Easter Vigil, or on Easter Sunday, the celebration of the resurrection. You can never separate the cross from the resurrection. This is one action. This is why I didn't get married. I couldn't deal with this. God bless you. God bless you. God wants us to be innocent like a child. I am free, I can roam, I can do. To be like a child in the kingdom of heaven. You see, the freedom of innocence is what Adam and Eve had. Why did they give it up? Because they did not know. They did not understand. They were not ready for the knowledge. And so we carry the burden of sin, but it doesn't have to be that way. And now that Christ has died for us, we have access to the tree of life. What is the tree of life? It happens every day on the Eucharist. You come to receive the body and the blood of the Lord, and you have everlasting life. This is why we come, the tree of life. This is the tree of life. He who eats of my body and drinks of my blood shall have everlasting life. More joy in heaven, ba 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 ba. More joy in heaven. When you come to the Eucharist, heaven is celebrating with us. Right now, heaven is celebrating with us. All the angels and saints are celebrating with us right now. and are here, present among us, but they are in a reality that we cannot perceive. But they are here with us right now. The Lord is present. And we look forward to that time when we will come to the kingdom of God and be with the Lord directly, not in a not in a little 
piece of wafer. But in his glorified body, and we will be in our glorified bodies. Because the Lord has fixed the problem for us. And his Father wants us to be with him. And Jesus has given himself to us in the Eucharist. So as we come to finish up uh, our recollection, tonight uh, we are bringing in about seven priests, so it'll go quickly. Come, 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 relieve yourself of the sin, of the burden even if you don't know what to say. Or maybe you've got unforgiveness on your heart. Come. It will be part of the process that I talked about. If you've been carrying something for so long, come to confession. Father, I don't know what to say. Well, I'll help you. That's what they're paying me for. And we'll search the Lord together. And maybe you will be moved to say, I don't want to forgive, but I do want to forgive, but I don't feel like forgiving then okay, let's do the spiritual action. Let's start. I forgive so-and-so for doing such and such. Yeah, but I don't feel that way. Well, let's not worry about the feeling for now. Let's do the spiritual part. Let's forgive. Oh, but I'm letting them off the hook. Who told you that? Where did that come from? That forgiveness somehow dismisses what they did, denies what they did. Oh no, they have to come before God. Not only that, they have to carry on their soul through their life what they did. So, they're not let off the hook. You forgive them, yes. And so you have done an act of grace, a divine action. Pray for them. Oh, I'm not going to pray for that. I so that person, I'm not going to. Well, okay, maybe I can pray for that. Yes, because they are desperately in need of your prayers. Would you hold redemption back from someone? Maybe to burden hell. Would you really do that? I don't think a lot of us would do that. No, you see, they are greatly in need of our prayers. Perhaps they have unforgiveness. Perhaps they don't see what they've done, the damage. And they bear the responsibility of that before God. But come. Come and be renewed in the Lord so that when you come to celebrate Easter, you celebrate it in joy, and in spiritual freedom, nothing is nagging at you, and you rejoice in the resurrection. Our Mass today is offered for the repose of the soul of Bill. Taratuta, trusting in God's compassion and love, we offer our prayers to him.
for all leaders and members of the church. May the Lord help them to serve generously and selflessly as living examples of Christ in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, may Christ's victory over sin and death transform and heal our broken world, especially in the Holy Land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries and missions around the world, may the grace of the suffering Christ fill them with strength, fortitude, healing, and hope as they serve the sick, the lost, and the abandoned. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who will be received in the church this Easter Vigil. May the grace and love of God <coughs> fill them with Easter joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and parishioners, as Christ forgave during his passion, may the spirit of compassion and forgiveness transform our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Bill Taratuta, our parishioners, family and friends, may they share in the fullness of Christ's <clears throat> glorious resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and intentions that we hold deep in our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Eternal Father, in the mystery of the cross and resurrection, you reveal your great mercy and love. As you answer the prayers we offer, you grant us the courage to face our crosses with compassion and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As the gifts are prepared, please take up the white book and turn to page 90, 90. How long has it been? Since you mind 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving, passion, his glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bill, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, our parents, friends, benefactors, and those to whom we promise our prayer, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us share this peace. Be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is in the white book on page 5757, Prodigal Son.
just let me hear you say I forgive you Let us pray. Endow us, almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Father David, we would like to say thank you for your time with us and Angela is going to say a few words. I asked her, and she said yes. <laughs> Please be seated. I never say a few words. <laughs> Are you Father Jan's sister? <laughs> oh, this one? Thank you very much for your resilience going through the trials and tribulations of the aviation system in Canada. We praise God that he has given you the tongue of a teacher, giving us tools for our spiritual journey of forgiveness and reconciliation. We are grateful to know that confession gives us absolution we are absolutely forgiven by Jesus' actions on the cross. Thank you for reminding us to love ourselves, then love our neighbors as ourselves, for we are made in the likeness and image of our di divine Jesus. Thank you so much for that message. We are now excited <laughs> about confession and reconciliation. Thank you, Father David, for your time.
talents and love for us. Okay, church, come on. Angela, thank you. I have no idea how you are able to do it. Now I know. <laughs> thank you. We are very, very happy to, to have you and uh, to go through this uh, Lenten mission. I was expecting more of us, but I have to be happy from those which I have here. Thank you. God bless you. Father Dave, we didn't give you uh, good, we, uh, we not only give you good words, but our, our sharing with you is on the box, on the, your collection box. Uh, that box, what we put for that box, that's yours. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, you, what will be arriving here I, I've sent a uh, hundred of our Catholic Missions in Canada magazines. So you can see what my organization is about. It's been around for over a hundred years, uh, helping missions in Canada. There are missions even in this diocese uh, here. And as I said, I had been in the, uh, the Yukon, but they go right across the country, north to south, east to west. So. Uh, please uh, read and, and find out about the missions. Let us stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Final hymn in the Green Book, the Catholic Book of Worship, 373, Tree of Life. 373 in the Green Book.